Welcome to Maryville, Tennessee. In this video, we're gonna take you on a complete tour of Maryville, show you the downtown, show you the parks, the neighborhoods, the schools, and just give you a good idea for what it's like to live in Maryville, Tennessee. I'm also gonna to talk to you about four pros and two cons of moving to Maryville. My first pro that I wanted to talk about is this right here, the downtown has that true small town feel that so many people that are looking to move to Tennessee are looking for. So downtown Maryville is Broadway that runs right through the middle. And this is essentially everything that is in downtown. There's a couple coffee shops that are a couple blocks down this way, but for the most part, everything in downtown is just right along this street here. So you have a couple restaurants down this way. You have this Bill Cox furniture shop right here on the corner, which is a super nice furniture store. You've got a couple theaters over here and then a couple more restaurants. You have Bella right here, which is a really good Italian restaurant. And then Blue Tick Tavern here has great pizza, great burgers. So downtown is really a great spot to come hang out for a date night or just to come hang out, grab coffee at the coffee shop. Really, you know, that it really has that historic character and charm that are that a lot of people are looking for. And then there's a really nice park just down the street from here. So just a really good place to come hang out. So that the number one pro for moving to Maryville is just the small town feel that so many people are looking for. And that brings up one thing that I wanted to talk about real quick. And I know a lot of people are gonna watch this video that live in Maryville as well. And a lot of people that live in Maryville don't really want a ton of people moving into the area. They don't really want Maryville to grow very much. And that is definitely understandable. And the good thing for you is the city of Maryville is not really promoting development very much. So there really is not very much housing development going on in the city of Maryville, a little bit on the outskirts, but really not even on the outskirts. So compared to a lot of the other small towns that are in Tennessee, Maryville is growing very slowly just because there aren't really any homes to buy. There aren't really many new homes being built. So if you live in Maryville and you're you know, wishing that people would quit moving here, that is probably good news for you. There's just not really that many homes to buy for people to move into. Now, if you are looking to move to Maryville, this is the number one con that I wanted to talk about. Obviously, if you're trying to buy a home in Maryville, you want more options, and there really aren't that many options available. You know, Maryville is such a desirable place to be with the great school systems, the, you know, the downtown area and everything like that, that there really aren't many homes to buy. So the number one con is the low inventory of homes. But like I said, if you do live here in Maryville, that might be good news for you. And of course, we gotta stop here at Southern Grace, one of my favorite coffee shops, and grab some coffee before we get to the rest of the video. So pro number two to Maryville is the parks and the Greenway system. And Maryville has an extensive Greenway system. So this is part of the Greenway and it runs right through downtown. This is downtown up through here. And then you have this park out here behind me. We're gonna go to another park that has all the playgrounds and basketball courts and everything. But this park sits right next to downtown. So if you're working downtown or in the courthouse, which is right up here, there's some other businesses along through here, you know, hop on the Greenway, come for a walk. When you come down here, around lunchtime, there are just tons of people on the Greenway taking a walk on their lunch break. So super nice environment and it just adds, you know, all that green space throughout the city. So pro number two is definitely the parks. By the way, if this is your first time on this channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Tennessee, Maryville, the other towns around Tennessee, tap the subscribe button, hit the bell for notification. So you'll be the first to learn about everything there is going on in the market in Tennessee. My name is Forrest McCullough. I'm a real estate agent in Tennessee and me and my team get calls every day from people just like you looking to buy or sell a home in Tennessee and we absolutely love it. So whether you're thinking about making a move next week or next year, feel free to shoot us a text, give us a call or send us an email. We'd be happy to help you out. Even if you just have questions for us, you wanna connect and learn a little bit more about the different options here, feel free to reach out. All our contact information is in the description below. Our number will be on the screen here as well. So. Make sure you write this down and save it. 
You can even book a Zoom call with us in the description below if you wanna meet face to face, but we'd love to connect. And make sure you subscribe if you wanna stay up to date on everything going on in Tennessee. The third pro for living in Maryville is the school system. And Maryville consistently has the number one rated school district in actually the entire state of Tennessee. So this is Maryville High School out here behind me. And then you've got the junior high, the intermediate, a couple elementary schools as well. They're all really close, just right back over here. But overall, the number one rated school district in the entire state of Tennessee, consistently uh, year over year. Sometimes it's you know two or three, but consistently in the top five. So. You know, this is pro number three for the video, but honestly, as far as people looking to move to Maryville, this is probably the number one pro that we hear for people. The number one driver of why families are wanting to move into Maryville specifically. A couple things that I wanted to touch on just with this number one rated school district. You know, if you are looking to move to Maryville specifically for the schools, then you need to be really careful that you actually buy a home that's in the city of Maryville and not on the outskirts of Maryville. So what happens is if you look at the areas surrounding Maryville, they all get a Maryville address. So if you're looking at Zillow.com or something like that at the homes that are for sale, you see a bunch of homes in the surrounding areas that get a Maryville address, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're in the city of Maryville. Now, you know, not, not anything wrong with the other schools that are in the county, but if you are looking to be in that city of Maryville school district, you need to be careful that you're looking at the homes that are actually right in the city of Maryville. So if you're on Zillow.com, you can scroll down and it'll actually show you what school it's in. If you go to Google Maps, you can actually type in Maryville and it'll outline the area that's actually the Maryville city. So that's just something you really need to keep in mind because I know a lot of people are looking to move to Maryville for these schools. So you need to be careful that you're actually getting in a home that is zoned for the Maryville City School District. So that school rating, of course, has to do with the academics of the school district. But another thing that Maryville is very highly rated for is the athletics. So the academics consistently number one, the athletics are also very, high, very highly rated. So Maryville High School has one of the top football programs in the state. It's also got some other really good sports programs. So if you're a family, you've got kids that are involved in sports and also want that great academic uh, environment, then Maryville is a really good choice for all of those different things. All right, so this is Sandy Springs Park here. So this is kind of back to pro number two, which is the parks in Maryville. And Sandy Springs Park and then the, the Alcoa Maryville Greenway, which we touched on, runs through here again. So. This greenway runs all the way back through downtown where we just were, and then it actually goes all the way to Alcoa as well. It's a nine mile long greenway. So you can go for a bike ride and go all the way to Alcoa, or you can go all the way the other direction to Foothills Elementary School. And it's a really pretty greenway, runs right along Pistol Creek here. And then of course, coming out into Sandy Springs Park over here, we have some baseball fields. We have basketball courts. We've got a great playground. And this is a, an extremely popular spot for families. We have our, our church league softball that plays down here. So just all kinds of stuff to do down here at Sandy Springs Park. And right back up the hill here is Maryville Junior High. And just to give you an idea, the, the high school is just about a two minute drive up this way. The intermediate school and the elementary schools are just a couple minutes away from here as well. And I'm gonna take you and show you in these neighborhoods that are surrounding this, but it's all, everything is just right here. Everything is just, you know, five to 10 minutes away, 10 minutes at the furthest. 10 minutes is a pretty long drive if you live in the city of Maryville. Another one of the great things about this park is it just creates a great community environment. And, you know, the, the Maryville community, small town, you got that tight knit community feel. As I mentioned, Alcoa, the city of Alcoa is just a few minutes down the road from Maryville. And just to give you uh, a little example of kind of the communities that are in these small towns. You know, I went to Alcoa High School. The Maryville Alcoa football rivalry is absolutely huge. So, you know, at our senior, at my senior year, the, the Alcoa Maryville game, there were, I think, about 15,000 people there, which is absolutely massive for a school that, you know, my school, Alcoa, only had about 800 people in, actually, excuse me, only about 500 people in the high school. So, Imagine 15,000 people, just an absolutely huge rivalry and two really good football programs. So, you know, people would come from all over to go to these games, but you just have that small town feel where you have everybody coming out for the football games and 
just a really tight knit community. So having these parks here is just one of the things. This is kind of just the middle of the day. Everybody's in school right now, but you come out here in the evenings and on weekends and these parks are just absolutely packed with people kind of coming together and just hanging out in the community. So Maryville has several more historic areas. This is Oak Park. This is one of the historic districts in Maryville. What you get in these neighborhoods, you get some really nice big lots, as you can see out here, but you also get really beautiful older homes with a ton of character. So this neighborhood right here sits right next to downtown, right between all the different schools. And then Sandy Springs Park is just down the hill here. So this is a really a great location. This is you know one of the most desirable locations to be in in the city of Maryville. So if you are thinking about moving to Maryville, as I mentioned before, one of the cons is there really aren't too many homes for sale. So in this entire neighborhood that stretches uh, probably about a quarter mile that way and then about a mile that way, so it's a, a pretty large neighborhood. There's one single home for sale right now. If you do wanna be in one of these neighborhoods like this, that's really desirable, these, these nice large lots, historic homes, you know, it's really competitive to get in. So if this is the type of area that you're looking at being in, and really all of the, the city of Maryville is really competitive like that, but if that's what you're looking to be in, uh, you need to go ahead and reach out to us as soon as you can because you need to put a plan in place to actually make that happen. You know, if you're looking to move next month and you wanna buy a home in an area like this, it's probably gonna be a little bit difficult to find one in that time period. But if you're looking a few months down the road, it's important to go ahead, put a plan in place so when the right home comes on the market, you're ready to go. So if you're looking at an area like this or anywhere in the city of Maryville, make sure you save our number, go ahead and reach out to us and we can go ahead and put that plan in place. But one of the things to point out about this neighborhood and the other historic neighborhoods, these nice big lots and then all the big mature trees. So what you'll see when we go to some of these other neighborhoods that are newer is a lot of the lots are much smaller and you don't have these mature trees. Whereas these ones, you get these nice big lots, these nice mature trees. So as you get a little bit out from town, and we're really not far out from town at all, we're like four minutes away from downtown, but as you get a little bit further out, you get some of these newer neighborhoods. And just to give you an example of what's for sale right now, this home right here is listed for 785. It's a four bedroom, three and a half bathroom, about 3,500 square feet. And again, this, this is not a, a brand new neighborhood. Like I mentioned, the brand new neighborhoods, most of the lots are a little bit smaller, but this one still has nice large lots, mature trees. But a lot of the neighborhoods that are surrounding Maryville, this is the type of homes you can find. You can find a lot of them in that, you know, 500 to $800,000 range. So if that's what you're looking for, a lot of these surrounding neighborhoods are a great option. All right, so this is one of the newer neighborhoods. And the thing I wanted to point out here like I mentioned before, a lot of the lots are a little bit smaller. You don't really get the mature trees that you get over in the more established neighborhoods, but there is one home for sale up here that I wanted to point out. And this one is actually a five bedroom, four and a half bathroom. It's 3,100 square feet and it's listed for just under 600,000. So this one right over here. So, you know, that just kind of gives you an idea for what you can get for your money in a neighborhood like this. Again, this is just a few minutes away from the shopping and the schools and everything in downtown Maryville. Now, I wanted to, to bring up one point again while we're here real quick. You know, this neighborhood is right on the very edge of the city of Maryville. So if you're looking at homes and you wanna be in the city of Maryville specifically for the schools and you're looking at these homes, these would be in the city of Maryville, the very next neighborhood over would actually not be in the city of Maryville. So again, very important to know if you're actually looking in the city of Maryville or not, because just looking on the map, it's not at all clear that the next neighborhood over is actually in the county rather than the city. So again, just very important to pay attention to which school that particular home is zoned for. So this is where most of the shopping in Maryville is. This is Foothills Mall. It's just a, a small shopping mall and then you've got a 
new Publix that's being built right here, as well as a Kroger Marketplace up the hill here. And you've got a Home Depot across here. And then there's a Walmart a little further up this way. But this is really all the shopping that's just right next to downtown. It's just about six or seven minutes away from all these neighborhoods that we were in before as well. So super convenient. Most everything you need as far as shopping, you're gonna be able to find right here in Maryville. If you want even more options, you can go over to, to Knoxville and, and Turkey Creek and Farragut, just about a 25 minute drive. But you can really find just about everything you need here. But this brings me also to con number two that I wanted to talk about. This road right out here is the main road that runs from Knoxville up through Maryville. The traffic right now, it's the middle of the afternoon, isn't too bad, but the traffic right here can get pretty bad at rush hour. So con number two is the traffic. You know, it's really compared to a major city, obviously the traffic's not bad, but for a small town, you know, people are moving to a small town because they want to get away from the traffic. And unfortunately, things can get a little bit backed up out here on this main road. So the traffic is definitely the con number two. But if you are not going to be out during rush hour, if you're just driving, you know, from your neighborhood over to this area in the middle of the day, it's really not bad. But if you are going to be commuting from these neighborhoods that are back up on the other side of Maryville, commuting to Knoxville to work, that's where it's really going to come into play. And during those commutes, you're going to run into a lot of that traffic. So pro number four to Maryville is the mountains. And Maryville sits right here in the foothills of the Smoky Mountains. This is Maryville College out here behind me. But if you look just over the hill here, you're gonna see the Smoky Mountains out there in the distance. A bunch of the homes actually sit with a view looking out over the mountains. And unfortunately, I can't go into somebody's living room and show you the view out from their living room. But some of the homes have beautiful views out over the mountains. So uh, pro number four is definitely being able to get that mountain view from a lot of the homes here. Now, of course, you can just drive up there and enjoy the mountains, even if you don't have that mountain view from your home. But a lot of people are wanting to move to East Tennessee for that mountain view. So if that is what you're looking for, what you need to keep in mind in, in this area is since that is a desirable view to have, those homes are significantly more, more expensive than homes with no view. You might, you might be paying 200, 300,000 more just to get that view out over the mountains. But if that's what you're looking for, we can definitely make that happen for you. And you know, just make sure you reach out to us uh, as soon as you can if that's what you're wanting to make happen because those homes sell extremely quick, quickly when they do come on the market. But the last thing that I wanted to touch on while we're right here is you've got Maryville College right here behind me. And Maryville is, it's really not a college town. You know, a lot of people wonder since it does have a college in like the downtown area of Maryville, is it a, college town and honestly this college only has an enrollment of about 1100 students so you know knoxville has the university of tennessee has about 20,000 students so it, it really gives knoxville that college town feel where the college here is just not quite big enough to really take over the city like what you would think of in a true college town so if you're wondering if the college town vibe is what you're going to get here in maryville honestly it's not really but you do have this nice college right here you know if you got uh, family that's going to be college age, super convenient. It's also just a absolutely beautiful campus. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you, giving you a good idea for what it's like to live in Maryville. You know, as I talked about the four pros of the great small town feel, the highly rated schools, the parks, and the mountain views that you get, you know, make it a really highly desirable area that con of not having many homes available. So, you know, if you're thinking this would be a good place for you and your family, feel free to shoot us a text, give us a call, send us an email, and we'd be happy to help you find that perfect home. Even if you just have some questions or just wanna talk, feel free to reach out to us or save our number so you'll have it when you are ready. Appreciate you watching the video and I'll see you on the next one.